the Moffat XC Falcons at Bathurst in 1977 a host of cars spanning four decades of Bathurst and Australian motor racing history will be on display at this year's super cheap auto Bathurst 1000. The pair of Moffat Ford dealers XC Falcon hardtops are arguably the star attraction, 40 years on from Alan Moffat's in Colin Bond's legendary Annette will finish. Other cars marking significant anniversaries that will be present are a replica of the 1967 winning XR GT Falcon and the 1997 winning VS Commodore. The 1967 winner, driven by Fred Gibson and Harry Firth, was the first V8 to win the race and was also commemorated in the Bathurst 1000's 50th anniversary in 2012, when David Reynolds's and Dean Canto's FPR Falcon ran a retro livery. The 1997 edition was Larry Perkins' last of six wins in the great race and Russell Ingall's second of two. Two cars driven by Dick Johnson and John Bow will feature, namely a Ford Sierra RS500, that they campaigned at Mount Panorama in 1990 and 1991 and their 1997 L Falcon. Factory Holdings on exhibit are the 1990 race-winning HRTV L Commodore driven by Alan Grice and Wim Percy, and a replica of the 1983 race-winning HTTV H Commodore of Peter Brock, Perkins, and John Harvey. Jim Richards' Nissan Skyline GTSR which he drove during his championship-winning 1990 Australian touring car season will also be among the cars on display in the supercars paddock. The exhibition coincides with the induction of the 12 inaugural members of the Tobby Constructed Legends Lane Walk of Fame on the Friday night. Those legends will be honored with a parade on the morning of race day and also attend autograph sessions on the Saturday and Sunday. The super cheap auto Bathurst 1000 weekend starts this Thursday, October 5th.